Now, when you want to export to PDF, we are back to Revit now. When you want to export to PDF, you can either do it in one of these three ways. You can go to the file, okay, over here. Then you're going to see export. You are going to see PDF there, create PDF file. And then in the print, you are going to also see create PDF file. And up, up here in the quick access tool, but you're going to see create PDF file. Anyone you choose is going to take you into this dialog box. Okay. Let's talk about what each and every one of these things, these, you know, options here, what they do. Okay. So this current window, prints what you see on screen. It doesn't matter whether you are zoomed in or not. It's, it is going to still print the sheet opened in your drawing area clean. It's going to print, if you have A3 sheets open there, whether you are zoomed in or not, it's going to print that A3 sheets clean. And also this is going to allow you to print whatever sheet size you have opened in your drawing area. Whatever sheet size, you don't have to set anything. All you have to do is come over to this size panel and, and ensure that it is said to use sheet size. So Revit is going to figure out the size of sheet that you have opened and it's going to print it with that sheet. No questions asked. All right, the visible portion of the current window also print what you have on your screen, but unlike the current window, it matters if you are zoomed in or not, because this is more or less like taking screenshots of your drawing area. This option requires you to select the page size. Setting it to use sheet size will not do, as it is not printing the entire sheet, but what you can see on your sheet. Like if I should print this one now, it is going to print just this extent of the screen, like taking a screenshot of the drawing area. I don't know if you understand. Now, the select view or sheet. Okay, this is going to be your likely option most of the time as it allows you to select multiple views and sheets to be printed at once. It allows you to either print all the sheets or use this icon here to, you know, choose a selection of sheets. But then you can also customize it if you prefer. So let's go ahead and click on this and then, okay, this is the filter that you use to select the sheets. All right, now this is hiding anything that is not you know selected see hide unchecked view or sheet so if i uncheck it now it is going to show me all these other views all these other sheets that are not you know checked before and not selected so i can just come over here and click on check or it is going to check all these sheets for me okay and that is how you choose your selection that you want to print if you click here it is going to check none click here it is going to check all and this is going to preview but but before we even do that, you'll find out that these sheets are not arranged properly. You see that you have A101, A102, then you have A107, and then it is not arranged. Let's go ahead and arrange it. To arrange it, you have to edit the print order. And to edit the print order, you click on this button. Okay, there are various ways you can do this. You can see it is manual order. So you can come here and select okay, what you want, like so. And then you move it, you know, manually to where you want it. And it's going to do that. Or you can use the browser's organization. Okay. That is going to sort it out for you. Or you can use sheet number in ascending order. So this is the one I like to use. The sheet numbering in ascending order is going to arrange it numerically in, in, in an alphanumerical order so that it is going to, because when I say alphanumerical order, you see A102, then when it's all A, then you see that the next thing is going to take is the numerical order. The, but then when it comes here, you see sheet C. C is going to come before E and E is going to come before G. I don't know if you understand. So all these things matter when it comes to arranging your sheet print order. So I'm going to say OK and I'm going to save this current set. And it's going to overwrite this all sheets that we have over here. All right. When you hit on this preview, it is going to show you the preview of any sheet that you select. So you see what you are printing. All right. So I'm just going to select this and then I'm going to go back. PDF export setup. You can click on this and then you can set it to save or save as revert, rename, delete. Okay. So for the file name, I'm going to stick with the restaurant full job that is already provided by Revit itself based on the name of this project, the project file. I want it to combine the selected views into a single PDF. If you don't want it, if you want it to print it single, single, like each sheet is going to be a single PDF of this own, you can go ahead and uncheck this. But for the purpose of what we are doing, I suggest you just leave it checked so that it is going to combine everything together for you. All right. So um, for the location, I'm just going to set it and put it in the desktop, the same place we put the first one that we just created. So in the DWG export, let me just go ahead and done. Uh, see the dwg export i'm going to create a new folder inside there i'm going to call it pdf and inside here i'm just to say i'm going to say open okay and then the this 
particular size in the size panel, we are going to leave it as UC size and that is going to, you know, work well. If you want to select a specific size of sheet, you can come down here and select it. But this works almost all the time. So I'm going to set it to zoom. So it's going to print this thing 100% to scale. Okay. It is not going to be bigger than what we have here. And neither is it going to be less when you set it to zoom 100%. So I'm just going to leave everything here. I'm going to leave it the way they are. Okay, I want it to be colored. I want the raster quality to be high. I'm going to leave the vector processing. Some of these views are going to print in raster processing. Like when you turn on shadows, when you turn on depth queuing, it's going to do those views in raster processing and that is okay. All right, now I want us to talk about something very, very important in this option. But before I proceed, let me just go ahead and um, close this first. I want to position this thing well. So let's go back in there. All right, so here in this option, this first one, view links in blue. Okay. These are the links. An example of a link is this um, section head here is a link. It, if you click it, it's going to take you somewhere. So it is a link. So because we are printing colored, let's view it in blue. Okay. Now high scope boxes. Scope boxes are like this dotted line here. When you print, it is going to hide it. Okay. It is not going to leave it, you know, for, because this is part of what we use to align our our crop region, our viewports. We don't need to see that in the finished drawing that we are going to print to be used on site. Okay, it's going to cause confusion. So I want to hide it in scope. So if you, if, you, if you didn't hide it in the specific, in all the views where you place them, just don't worry. We can be able to hide it when you are, you know, exporting your PDF. Hide crop boundaries. We all know what crop boundaries are. So if there is anyone that you didn't hide, or if in case you didn't even hide anyone at all in your, in your view, don't worry, you can hide them here while printing the PDF. Now, hide unreferred view tag. Like this, this color here now is unreferred. So when I print now, it is going to hide it for me because it is not going to show anywhere because if it is going to show, it is going to reference that sheet that it is going to show on here. So it is going to hide it since I didn't finally now use it. So all this other one here, I'm going to leave them unchecked. I don't normally use them. So now I'm going to hit export and it's going to start exporting this PDF for us. So when it's done, I'm going to open the PDF in my PDF reader and we're going to look at how everything happened there. All right, so it is done now. Let's open it and take a look at what happened. So this is the file that was exported. So I'm going to just open the page thumbnail so we can take a look at what we exported. Okay, these particular ones, we never worked on them. These are the sections that we placed that time. All right, so this, we use this sheet to align it. So you see, when I move around, you see the way it is moving. Okay, that is what guide grid does for you. And you can see our references are also showing here very well. So when I double click here, it is going to take us to the section view. Likewise, when I come over here, okay, when I come over here and double click, it's going to take us to the second, you know, floor plan. Now, mind you, when I come here on this view, you find out that our, well, the first plan you find out that our colored view has been hidden because it is not referencing any view and we set it for you to hide it so from here now you can go to the section view you know as you wish that is what leaving the link on can do for you too so when you come over here you click on it and it's going to take you to where you need to be all right so that is it for this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did please give me a like and if you're new to this channel consider subscribing okay not only subscribing ring the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future tutorial thank you very much for watching this video i will see you in the next one